We're gonna do a workout today. So let's get started. We're gonna start by warming up. And we're gonna warm up with our foam roller. I'm gonna have Rachel be my demo person for a lot of these exercises today. When we get into the meat and potatoes of the workout, I'm gonna show version one of the exercise and I'm gonna have Rachel show version two. That way as we do the workout together, we can always have an option that's appropriate for us. All right, let's get started. So we're gonna start down on the floor. We're gonna use our foam roller. If you don't have a foam roller, I'm gonna show an option for that. We're gonna start by foam rolling out your low back. So let's put that foam roller right on your low back. And I want you to put your arms, go ahead and sit your hips down to the ground. Put your, foam, your arms around your chest like you're giving yourself a big hug. Go ahead and elevate your hips for me. And how we're gonna foam roll today, I want you to take a big deep belly breath in and then breathe out and slowly push that foam roller up. Now a big deep belly breath in, breathe out, good. And we're gonna do two more big deep belly breaths like that. There's one, and one more for me, big deep belly breath, and good. Now go ahead and relax, hips down. Now if you don't have a foam roller, what I'm gonna have you do is a cat-cow stretch. So for your cat-cow stretch, let me turn to face you guys. You're gonna breathe in through your nose, pull your spine up to the ceiling, and then you're gonna breathe out through your mouth. Bring your head and hips up. We're gonna do that two more times. Big breath in, and then out. Big breath in, and then out. Perfect, that should kinda of get our lower back used to being able to move here, and it's gonna get us prepped for our movements we're gonna to do today. We're gonna to move on to our next section. We're gonna foam roll out our glutes. So Rachel, I want you to sit on your foam roller. Perfect, I want you to go ahead and cross your left leg over your right. Now, I want you to lean your hips so that your left hip is on the foam roller and your right hip is elevated. Perfect. Now, big deep breath in and out the whole time. I want us to do three rolls on our hips. So that was one, big deep breath in. Good, that was two, big breath in and out. Good, now let's switch legs. So right crosses over left, left hip elevated. Big breath in and out, big breath in, good, out. And last one here, big belly breath in and out, good. Now, if you don't have a foam roller, you're gonna do a keyhole stretch. So we're gonna go to our back here, we're gonna go supine. I'm gonna lay flat. I'm gonna turn my legs to the uh, number four. I'm gonna bring my arms through, lay back, big breath in, pull my knee as close to my chest as I can. Breathe out, extend the legs forward. Big breath in, <laughs> pull out. And big breath in, pull out. We're gonna switch sides. Same exercise here, big deep breath in, pull that knee tight. Breathe out, extend forward. Big breath in, breathe out. Last one here, big deep belly breath, and out, perfect. Okay, we got one last foam roll to do here. We're gonna foam roll out the quad. So I'm gonna have my wonderful assistant. assistant. I want you to line that foam roller up on your left knee. And go ahead and turn that foam roller horizontal for me. Perfect. You're going to bring your forearms down to the ground like you're doing a front plank. You're going to get some kisses from Guillermo. I want you to take your left leg, cross it over top of your right. And I want you to take a deep breath in, try to bring that foam roller down to your knee. Then breathe out, bring it as close to your hip as you can. Two more, just like that. Big breath in, dig deep into the knee. Breathe out. Good, one more here, big breath in, breathe out. Good, and let's switch. Big breath in and out, good. Can you feel that on your quad? Yep. There's two, and one more here, big breath in and out. Good job. Now if you don't have a foam roller here, we're gonna go to a twisted lizard stretch. How we do that? Put your hands down on the ground. I'm gonna have my left leg forward, right leg back. I'm gonna take my right heel, lift it. I'm gonna reach back, grab my shoe, and I'm gonna pull my heel in. Big breath, breathe out, relax. Big, deep breath, pull that heel in. 
Relax. One more here. Big deep breath. Relax. We're going to switch. I'm going to grab my heel. Big breath in. Stretch my quad. Relax. Big deep breath. Relax. One more here. Big deep breath in. Then relax. So the first part of our workout was to hit that foam roll. Now that we finished, we're going to go into the stretch portion. So for our stretch, we're going to go into our Spider-Man position. So we're going to step up our left foot. Our hands are going to be down to the inside of our big toe. And we're going to make our back leg nice and long. Now, if you feel like this is too intense, Rachel's going to show the easy version. Put that knee down. Good. Now, how we get into this stretch a little bit deeper, you push your dog away first. You're going to bring your forearms down to the ground and then breathe out, pull them back up. Now, if you can't get your forearms all the way down, just do your best or elevate the floor up to you by putting a couch cushion underneath your forearms. So let's do two more like that. Big breath in and out. One more big breath in and then out. Good. We're going to switch sides. Whoops, sorry there, Rachel. We're going to do our other side here. Once again, if you need to, bring that knee down to the floor or elevate the floor up to you using a couch cushion. Deep breath in. Bring those forearms down. Breathe out. Big breath in. Drop those forearms. Breathe out. And one more here. Big, deep belly breath. And breathe out. Pull back up. Good. Okay, I'm going to use Rachel for our demo for our next one here. We're going to do a floor slide. Rachel, can you lay down with your back on the floor here for me? Perfect. Now, I want you to pull your heels close to your butt and then elevate your toes. Just like that. So you want heels flat, toes pointing up to the ceiling. Now, I want your arms to make the letter I. Perfect. Now, if you guys can see this here, there's a lot of space between her low back and the floor. I want you to eliminate that space. So pull your belly in nice and tight. Good. Now, I want you to, as you do these floor slides, really try to breathe as you breathe in. Expand your rib cage as you breathe out. Pull it down towards your hips. Now, as we're doing that breathing, arms from the letter I, at the bottom, you're going to make a letter W. Now, as you do this exercise, I want you to keep your Back of the hand, back of your wrist and forearm as close to the floor as you can. We're going to do three reps. So let's start at the letter I. Big, deep breath in. Draw your elbows down. Then breathe out. Two more. Big, deep breath in. Keep them as close to the floor as you can. Breathe out. Good. One more. Big, deep breath in. Thank you for helping, Guillermo. Breathe out. Good. And that should really stretch our shoulders. Okay, we're going to move on to our next one here. How does that feel, Rachel? Feels great. Good. Okay, guys, we're going to do our couch stretch next. So for your couch stretch, we're going to actually use our couch as our prop, as our tool. So I'm going to be facing forward, hips square with my couch. I'm going to put my hands down on the floor. I'm going to take my right leg and get it as flat to the couch as I can. Stepping my legs forward, I'm going to bring my left leg up. If you feel an intense stretch already, stay flat there. Otherwise, just like Rachel's doing, we're going to sit tall. I'm going to take three big deep breaths in this position, make my chest and rib cage as broad as I can. Breathe in. And out. Two more. Big breath in. And out. And last one. Big belly breath. And out. Good, guys. Let's switch legs. We should hopefully be feeling like we're getting nice and stretched out here and we're getting ourselves ready for these more intense movements. Big breath in and out. Two more. Big breath in and out. And big belly breath and out. Perfect. Okay, we've stretched, we foam rolled, or we did two rounds of stretching. Now it's time to get to the meat and potatoes. We're going to start with our more power oriented set. Rachel, you ready? Yes. Okay, guys. We're going to go exercise by exercise, and then we're going to start sweating with you guys. Sound good? Sounds good to me. All right, we're going to pop up. 
So we're gonna have to step back just a little bit here. That's okay. Exercise one, we're gonna do an exercise called a squat jack. So for that squat jack, we're gonna have our feet underneath our hips. Hands can start down by our waist. I'm gonna hop my feet out. I'm gonna bring my hands together like I was a cheerleader, land in the bottom of my squat. I'm gonna pop up, and it's exactly like doing a jumping jack, but with a squat. Now, version two here, if you feel like that hop isn't the right step for you, you're gonna just start with your feet wide, hands down by your hips, as you bring your hands together. Exactly, Rachel, you're gonna squat. And the goal as we squat is to bring those hips right below our knees. If you find trouble doing that, I just want you to scoot back. And Rachel, I'm gonna have you put your heels as close to the couch as you can. You're gonna bring your arms down by your hips. And as you squat, you're gonna tap the couch cushion with your booty, stand all the way up. We're gonna do 10 reps here of the squat jack. Moving forward, after we finish our squat jacks, we're gonna immediately hit the deck for power push-ups. So for those power push-ups, I'm going to screw my hands into the carpet, keeping a lot of tension into the wrist. I'm gonna step my legs out, and I wanna squeeze my glutes, and I wanna squeeze my abdomen like I'm holding a plank. Lower my hips, chest down to the floor, freezing about an inch off the carpet. Breathe and push my entire body up off the carpet. Now, if that power portion is too hard, you can just do a normal push up. Or if it's all too tough, we're gonna make it a little bit easier. How we're gonna do that, we're gonna elevate exactly our surface up by putting our hands on our couch. Now, Rachel, do me a favor and widen your feet up a little bit. There we go. Because we want to lower our whole body down to the couch. So go ahead, lower, and then push up. Exactly. Good, perfect. And we can pause there. We're going to do 10 reps of those. Why I want you to elevate versus putting your knees down. That's going to help us train that plank position necessary for a push up and just keep us a little bit stronger. Okay. Next exercise after our power push-up, we're gonna head down to the floor. And I'm gonna scoot nice and close to my couch here because we're gonna elevate our feet. So I'm gonna put my feet with my toes pointing up to the ceiling. I'm gonna put my hands together, grip them nice and tight, hold my belly strong, and I'm gonna hit a glute bridge. I'm going to bring my hips all the way down, all the way up for 10 reps of my feet elevated glute bridge. Version two of that exercise, we're going to scoot back. I'm going to keep my heels down and my toes elevated, and I'm going to lift my hips up, squeeze tight at the top, and then drop right down for 10 on our glute bridge. Last movement here, we're going to do our dead buck. So for that dead bug, we're going to lay flat, arms and legs up. I'm going to give myself the thumbs up, and I'm going to alternate by going right arm down, left leg down, keeping my left arm, my right leg up. Once I finish that side, I'm going to alternate and do side two. And we're going to do 10 per side, 20 total. By the end, that should really feel like it's working our core. Okay, I think we've gone over our demos. Let's do it. It's time to work out here. So let's give ourselves some room here. Remember what we're starting with? Yep. Squat jacks. So let's get started. I'm gonna show version one. Rachel's gonna do version two. We've got 10. Deep breath in. There's two. Now the whole time that we're hitting these workouts, Make sure we're using that same breathing pattern that we worked on during our stretches. That's going to make the exercises that much more effective. And that was 10 for me on the squat jacks, 10 there on version 2. Let's hit the deck. Power push-ups. You know, Rachel's hitting them down on the floor and that's absolutely okay. Once again, you could hit those 
up on the couch. Now that was 10 for me on the push-ups. Rachel's still hitting them, which is perfect. Okay, feet elevated glute bridge. Dolores is gonna be my personal trainer here, making sure I hit these correct. Now make sure at the top, we squeeze the glutes nice and tight. No squeeze, no results. And it's good to do your movements back to back like this, because it's gonna keep your heart rate up. And it's always good to do these with the dogs in the house. They act as your towel, keep the sweat free. Now let's move on to our dead bugs. Okay, right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg, that's one. Make sure you're keeping your core braced and lower back tight to the floor as we do our dead bugs. Continue to breathe. Hopefully that heart rate is up nice and high at this point. Showing that we don't necessarily need an entire gym full of equipment to keep this workout going. And I think this is my last one here. Perfect. So if we're hitting those together, that's the end of round one. And we've got three more. Rachel, how are you feeling? Good. Good, perfect. We're back to squat jacks. Let's start with those feet in, within hip width. And since these are a power movement, we wanna to try to get through these nice and quick, thinking fast feet and fast hips. And I think I got one more here. Rachel's doing a great job getting her hips all the way down. We've got our push-ups. And remember, get yourself up off the carpet. You want to see daylight under those hands. That was 10 there. Good work, Rachel. Our dogs are getting a workout in two. Let's elevate our feet. Hands up. There's one, two, and you want to get your hips and your back all the way flat. And that should be 10 right there. Give Rachel some room for her dead bucks. Remember arms and legs up. Whoops. There we go. Remember opposite arm, opposite leg. This should be our core. Maybe a little shoulder, maybe a little hamstring. And remember your breathing. Rachel's doing a good job over there. Make sure deep breath in on the way down on all these movements. Breathe out as you approach the top. I think I got two more per side here. Good. Perfect. We're approaching the halfway point here. Hopefully we've started to break a sweat. Continue the pace up, back to the start. Feet within hip width. Breathe in at the top. Breathe out as you squat. There's four. Making sure to keep your feet flat as you squat. I think that was 10 right there. Looking good, Rachel. Now let's hit the deck. Screw those hands into the floor. We should feel our heart rate coming up. Thanks, Rachel. Upper body should be burning. Sweat starting to pour here. This is just that first dynamic circuit. Okay. Glute bridges, third set. Hands up, hips elevated. We should feel our glutes, even if these are unweighted. Think about squeezing at the top, breathing out hard at the top. We might get hamstrings and glutes working here. And last one, good. All right, guys, we're going to those dead bugs. 
arms and legs up. It's okay if you don't quite get that locomotion yet of opposite arm, opposite leg. It takes a second. Just slow that movement down and it's gonna become second nature. It's gonna make your core stronger than just doing crunches alone. And make sure you're not bouncing your heel off the ground or off a dog. That's gonna make that movement a little bit too easy. I think I got two more per side here. Last one. Rachel's starting to beat me. That's all right. I'm not talking. That's three down, last one. Okay. I'm trying to maintain that same pace throughout the workout. Consistent. You don't have to rush. That way we keep the body temperature up. And we keep the point of the workout going. Okay, and we're down to the mat. Or to your carpet. All right, so is this three or four? Four. This is round four. We're on to the hard round here. Or maybe this is the easy round. We'll see. Okay. Hips up. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Engage your stomach as you lift your hips. We should be sweating a lot at this point, especially if you have the heat up in the house like we do. It's cold outside. And now once we finish those bridges, exactly right. We got our dead bugs. Let's work our core, work our coordination. You need both those things to be high and strong. And if you want this workout to be even harder, try to talk the entire way through. <laughs> Just kidding out there, everybody. I think we got two more here. And that for me is good. Rachel's still looking strong. My heart rate's up, I'm burning. Ooh. Pretty much everywhere. That was our power time. If you need a second, you can pause the video there, grab a drink. If you're feeling strong, we're gonna go right into our strength. So for our strength, just like how we started out in power with those squat jacks, we're gonna start with largest muscle group first. So we're gonna do our pendulum lunge. Now for that pendulum lunge, Guillermo's gonna help me out. I'm gonna start by stepping forward, then I'm gonna step immediately backward. Forward, and then backwards. We're gonna hit five of those per leg, one rep, forward, then back. Once you finish your lunges on both sides, we're gonna hit the deck for our clock plank. I'm gonna reach my left hand forward, right hand forward, right leg up, left leg up. That's one. So it's up, 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 up all the way around the body. Once you finish those clock planks, we're gonna hit probably the toughest movement, that single leg deadlift. I'm gonna lift up my right foot. I'm gonna put a nice bend in my left knee. I'm gonna pretend I'm holding a ball, or you can hold a ball or a couch cushion. I'm gonna push my right heel back as I extend my arms forward. Bonus points if your leg never touches the floor. We're gonna do five on our right side, then we'll do five on our left. Now this one definitely needs an alt version. So you're gonna put your toe up on top of your couch. You're still gonna pretend you're holding that basketball. You're gonna extend forward, keeping your heel flat and your hips square. Get us this one more here, Rachel. And you should feel that all in your front hamstring slash glute. Last movement here, we're actually gonna need a piece of equipment for. We're gonna need a couch cushion. Very expensive here, obviously. I'm gonna kneel on my couch cushion 
with my right foot. I'm gonna put my hands down. I'm gonna squeeze my butt. Right knee's on the cushion, left knee's on the carpet. I'm gonna lift my left knee, which immediately turns my core on, and then I'm gonna extend my left leg. Pull it back into my chest. Extend back. And we're gonna do 10 per side on that quadrupedal extension. Now, if that feels a little easy, and you wanna put some stank on it, we're gonna go back into that quadruped extension. Lift your left knee, lift your right hand. Core tight, extend. Core tight, extend, 10 per side. On that quadruped extension, almost turning it into a bird dog with one knee elevated. We're gonna do four rounds through. Okay, My this. lovely assistant is ready to roll. Guillermo's ready to roll. We're gonna start with that pendulum lunge. I think it's probably gonna be best if we're set up kind of just like so, so we don't run into each other. Okay, one rep is one step going forward and back. So here's one, whoop, give myself a little bit more room here. You don't wanna run into your couch. There's two. And we should feel this almost immediately in our legs. Five. We're doing five per side, that's four for me. There's five, I gotta switch. And yes, I am already feeling it. Ooh. Thank you to those 40 squats that I started the workout out with. I think this is number four. And number five. Once we finish those lunges, clock plank. Push up position, starting from your left arm. Left arm up, right arm up, right leg. Left leg, that's one. Up. We're gonna go to 10. And I can already feel my core working. Now, the faster you go, the less effective these are. So if you wanna make this as hard as possible, Ooh. go as slow as possible. I'm at five. Good job, Guillermo. Thank you for keeping my face sweat clear. This is starting seven for me. Now a way to make this easier, stop at five reps. Cause we've got three more to do after this. There's eight. There's nine. Or you can start at 10 in round one, do eight in round two. Six and three, four reps in round four. Okay, we gotta do five per side on our single leg deadlift. Bend in the knees, you don't wanna lock your legs out. Extend that leg back. We're gonna do five. And we wanna extend the distance from our hands to our heel as much as we can. Now, you wanna pick out a spot ahead of you as you do these, to balance on. And you'll always have an easy side and then a hard side. My hard side's my right. And remember, for only five per side here, we're trying to work our hamstring. Once we finish our single leg deadlifts, let's grab our pad. This is per side, we're doing 10. So I've got right knee on, lift my arm and leg, extend. Keeping my core tight, hip, square, abdomen tight. And once again, it's completely okay just to keep both hands down. Is it five per side? This is 10 per side, my dear. This side is all about that rotary stability. If you don't know what that means, we don't want our body to shake and bake like a washing machine. We want to keep stable. That's why we're working on this movement in particular. Make sure your core is braced. Squeeze your butt. Big deep breath as your hand comes to your knee. Breathe out at the top. And I am absolutely sweating right now. 
I think my assistant is wet as well. Hopefully you guys are starting to sweat too. But if you have a helpful dog like Guillermo here, he's gonna lick all that sweat off. We're back up onto our feet. That was round one. It's time for round two. We gotta do those pendulum lunges. We're gonna step forward and then back. And we should feel this work in our legs as much as possible. Make sure you have enough self room here so you're not hitting the couch each time and you're giving your legs room to open. Whoop, and I think that was five. Let's go to leg two. Way to make this easier, reduce that range of motion a little bit. And like my wife is here. Now as you're doing these, don't allow your knee to slam into the floor. Keep about an inch of clearance between your knee and the ground. I believe that was about five per side for me. Perfect, okay guys, down to the hard one. We gotta do that clock plank. We're doing 10 here. Remember left arm, right arm, right leg, left leg. One, left, right, right, left. Two, left, right, right, left. Three, left, right, right, left, four, left. Right, right, left, five, left, right, right, left, six, left, right, right, left, seven, left, right, right, left, eight, left, right, right, left, nine, left, right, right, left, ten. Good work, guys. That should really get the heart rate going, shoulders going. We're up. We got five per side. Single leg deadlift. I'm looking at my Shiba Inu calendar here. It's still on November. It's March. Here we go. One. Trying to keep my leg off the floor. Two. Extend as much as you can. Three. Four. And one more this side. Five. Okay, let's switch. Bend in the knee. Eyes on my Sheba calendar. One. Try to keep your balance. I just lost mine, that's okay. Two. Extend, extend, extend. Three. Almost there. Four. One more here. You can use the couch method if this one's too hard. Five. Good. Our heart rate should be up. Feel like we're working. Pad down under our right knee. Hands under our wrists. Let's go. We're doing 10. Try to keep your heel right below your hip. Vision straight forward. I'm doing a bird dog to a pet dog here. Remember rotary stability. Don't let your body rotate. I think this is eight, nine, one more than we're gonna switch, 10. All right, switch sides, pad under left leg. Keep everything tight, extend. One, two, good. Three, four, good. Five, best part guys, we're only halfway through okay. here. There's eight. Nine, one more, keep your core tight. 10. That's two down. We've got two more to go. If you feel like you need to, take a break here. We're working hard. If not, we're up on our feet. Give yourself enough room. I'm gonna check out on my assistant. You doing okay? Yep, I'm gonna take a little break. She's gonna take a break. I'm gonna keep working, which is fine. We're gonna step forward and back. There's one. She's gonna be my trainer. Looking for anything. That might be dangerous. Keep your knee over your ankle. Three. Belly tight the whole time. Four. Remember, don't smash your knee into the carpet. Five. Freeze that knee. Now we switch. You can hear me breathing here. This is not just a softball workout. Depends 
how hard you go and how quick you transition. If you do everything correctly, it's gonna get you. And I think I got one left here. I might have done 10 on that leg there, but that's okay. Oh, you're fine. Okay, we're back to our clock plank. Remember our cadence here. Shoulders and hips level. Left, right, right, left. One, left, right, right, left. Two, left, right, right, left. Three, left, right, right, left. Four, left, right, right, left. Five, left, right, right, left. Six, left, right, right, left. Seven, left, right, right, left. Eight, left, right, right, left. Nine, left, right, right, left. I think that was 10. Really sweating now. We're back to our feet. Single leg deadlift. Eyes on my calendar. Heel up. Extend. One. You might find as the workout goes on, your balance starts to get shaky. That's to be expected. Three. Extend. Four. One more. Five. Next leg. Extend. One. Extend, two, good, extend, three, two more. Stay strong, keep your belly tight. Four, last one here, five, good. Last exercise in round three, grab your pad, right knee on. We're gonna count them together. Bring your elbow to your knee, one, together. Two, make sure you're breathing. Big breath in. Three, big breath in. Four, big breath. Five, big breath. Six, big breath. Seven, big breath. Eight, big breath. Nine, last one. Breathe out. Switch. Sweat should be pouring. Skin a little bit red like mine is now. Elbow to knee. Breathe. One, two, good job guys, you're almost there. Three, big breath. Four, big breath. Five, you can hear our dogs fighting in the back. Six, good, big breath. Seven, big breath. Eight, last two. Nine, last one. 10, that's three down. Home stretch, baby. We gotta start off the good way, we gotta do those pendulum lunges. We're back up onto our feet. Step out. And there's one. I like to use my arms almost like I'm running. That's two. You can do that or keep your hands just on your hips. Either way. Four. Guillermo has the right idea. He's drinking a bunch of water. That's in my future. Five. Other side. Go right into it. Now, if you're feeling super good and you just wanna go right from going forward to going back, you can. Otherwise, stop in the middle. And there's five. Looks like we have a little bat down there. <laughs> yes. That's a, this is Marvin. No, this is Melvin. Melvin's our bat cat. Let's hit the deck. This soul breaker here, this clock plank. Once again, if 10 is too tough last time, drop the reps till you can stay up. Left, right, right, left. One, left, right, right, left. Two, left, right, right, left. Three, left, right, right, left. Four, left, right, right, Left, five, left, right, right, left, five, left, right, right, left, six, left, right, right, left, seven, left, right, right, 
Left, eight, left, right, right, left, nine, left, right, right, left, 10. We've got one exercise left. I'm starting to feel it here, everyone. I'm sweating. Wait, you got those. That's right. I was trying to skip ahead on you guys. This is why you have a beautiful woman be your wife who's getting her PhD. You might forget what exercise is up next. Otherwise, extend. There's one. Extend. There's two. Push through your foot. There's three. Four. One more. Five. Whew. Okay, one more here on the other side. One. We're going to five. Two. Here we go. Three. Good. Four. Last one. Five. Okay. I almost tried to lie to you guys and skip you ahead. Last one. Quadruped extension. Knee to elbow. One. Breathe in. Two. This shouldn't feel like a break. It should be hard effort. You should feel your glute. Feel your abdomen. Get your muscles to work. Keep your back from going on the hyper extension. Three more to this side. Eight. Nine. Last one. Ten. And almost see the sunrise here, everybody. Here we go. Other side. One. I'm doing a bird dog into a dog push. Three. Good. Thank you, Guillermo. Four. Five. Almost there, everybody. Six. Seven. Final three. Eight. Last two. Nine. Last one. Ten. Guys, that ends our strength workout. We're going to repeat the stretch section now because we just cranked ourselves up. We got to stretch, calm ourselves down. So if we remember what was first, Spider-Man stretch. So let's bring that right leg up. Feel free to keep your knee down. Otherwise, leg up, breathe forearms down, breathe out, lift up. Deep breath in and out. Two. Deep breath in, drop, and out. Let's switch. All right, guys, other side. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. One more here, guys. Deep breath in and out. Okay, do you remember what was next? We got our floor slides. So we're gonna pop onto our back. Toes up, heels flat. Remember, alphabet here. We're gonna do a letter I. You're gonna slide your arms along the floor to a letter W. That was one. Deep breath, extend, breathe out. Pull down. Deep breath in and out. Perfect, guys, on the floor slide. Now we're gonna end the perfect way. We worked out in front of the couch. Let's use it to stretch. Right foot slides into the couch. We're gonna pull. Our dogs are screaming to go out. We are almost there, puppies. Almost there. We're gonna slide back. And big breath. And out. Two more. Big breath in. And out. Big breath. Out. Let's switch. Last leg here, guys. This is kind of exciting. Big breath and out. Good, big breath. Out, last one. Big breath, out. Time. Let's take a second to sit on our butt here, guys. Great work making it through today's workout. The plan, we're gonna be posting these workouts through my YouTube channel. So make sure Subscribe, like the video, yeah, sure. and I'm going to share it. That way you can see it, but do those things. That way it just goes right to you. 
Below, we're going to have Facebook and the Instagram. That way you can go there. And the whole workout. And the whole workout. Like I said, you have to have <laughs> a beautiful, intelligent PhD assistant to make sure you've got all your ducks in a row. We're going to have all of that information below the workout. Thank you for joining us, guys. And come back to join us here for another couch living room workout featuring more and more animals every time. Quarantine 2020. Quarantine 2020. Bye, guys. <laughs>